Hello there, in this video we are going to be creating a jungle, I mean it's not a jungle, it's for mobile so I can't really have a lot of branches but anyway, we are going to be creating a jungle with um, PCG component in our engine 5.3 with, uh, with some splines for us to make sure that they are going wherever we want like this, we don't want this place to have a lot of um, grass and trees and rocks we don't have we don't want it to have anything practically um so we mo make sure nothing spawns in here so anyway let's get started let's go to edit plugins um and type in pcg so procedural content generation framework enable this one and then go to your content browser um, i've already created the pcg folder for myself so right click new folder call it pcg uh, and then right click pcg pcg graph and then you'll have an input and an output node the input has a landscape node which we'll use at this moment because we're working on a landscape right then we want the we want to have a spline to make sure we are not spawning anything on this spline. So how we can, um, how can we spawn this spline in here? So go to here, modeling, and then go to draw spline. Draw something, and then hit accept. Then you'll have you'll have a spline actor in your scene. Type in tag in the search area and then you'll have a tags one here, uh, add one element, type road for example, or town or anything, it doesn't matter, but whatever you type here, it's gonna be really important later on. So now we have our input uh, node, then we want the spline data, so get data we want to get spline data and then afterwards we want a sampler and we are sampling a spline so we want a spline sampler um, the dimension is going to be on interior on the spline sampler um, and it must be unbounded if you don't want it to be unbounded it's fine but I suggest you go ahead and check this one out in the get spline data though, in the actor filter, we're going to be using all the world actors and actor selection is going to be by tag. This is the tag you've mentioned here. You've um, So I have the spline uh, actor here, my tag's called town. Um, I'm going to have town written in here. Then we need a, after the spline sampler, we need a projection because without it, um, it's going to be really hard to draw a spline on the surface. If you just, so if you pay attention, my spline is not on the surface, but it kind of projects it on the landscape. So I don't really need to go ahead and make sure these are pretty sp precise. I, I mean, this works, this works. I don't need to make sure that it's completely precisely here. And um, this one goes into the projection. Projection target comes from the input from landscape. This one right here. Okay, so from the landscape, we want to sample a uh, surface, right? Sam surface sampler. This one right here. And we have some um, some numbers here. So if you hit this one or hit D on your keyboard, it will show you the points it's gonna use to spawn if you so you can change this stuff and see if it changes anything just make sure you go ahead and play around with them for our rocks i'm going to be using these numbers looseness of 0.7 uh, and points per square meter of 10 and seed doesn't really matter um, and then we're going to be using a difference node, this one right here, because we don't want to spawn anything on this spline, remember? So difference node and the source is going to be uh, the surface sampler, this one goes into here, and the 
uh, difference is the proje projection that's coming from the spline sampler. So this one goes into the difference. And then we need to we need to use a noise. You can just let me show you this one. These are the points without the spline. So this is our all of our points, right? And if I hit the on this one and hit the on this one, you'll see that it's not spawning anything on this on this spline sampler. Then we'll go one step further and use a noise which isn't working pretty well i mean i can just go ahead and change a lot of stuff in it but as you can see it's just changing uh it's called in an attribute noise so attribute noise under metadata so point um one probably for min and point six for max uh and it's going to be changing the density and then we are going to be changing the density filter so it's like that if you change this one it will change the whole filter as well if it's set to one it's not going to show anything so 0.5 would be a pretty good um, number then we'll always need a transform node transform points uh, this one's called density filter you can just type in density filter transform point is always for make sure making sure that the offset is correct because so most of the times they're not just using um they're not spawning properly for example this one right here as you can see this one should have a negative offset so uh for the rocks i'm using these rocks i'm using a minus 10 to minus 25 for the Z value and um, a rotation max of 360, so everything's randomly rotated. If you want them to all face up, you can use absolute rotation. I don't want that, maybe for the trees. I can easily show you it, um, how it works. So in the transform points, as you can see, all of them face up but I don't want that at the moment so I don't really care and then just to be sure that nothing's colliding with others we will use a self cloning and then static mesh spawner so spawn uh, we have a lot of options to spawn we're going to be using a static mesh spawning here and then you'll have to come to mesh entries, add one, and then go all the way down to static mesh, choose something, uh, make sure the mobility is static, make sure the instance data packer type is instance data packer by attributes, um, and then instance and call distance should be set to something if you work on mobile, if you want some performance back, for me it's set to 3000 if you're um this is a rock this one needs a shadow but if you're spawning grass they shouldn't cast shadow as well so cast dynamic shadow uncheck cast static shadow uncheck cast contact shadow uncheck cast shadow uncheck it shouldn't cast shadow at all and then you'll have your rocks you can do the same thing for trees and grass. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that for trees, if you're working on mobile, you can't have a lot of branches, a lot of uh, masks. So I have a tree that looks like this, okay? This one's horrible for mobile. It has a lot of branches. It, it is just a hell when it comes to shader complexity. It's, it's <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, everything's green because the render is uh, SM5 but in mobile it's complete red and sometimes white so you don't really need something like this you can't really use branches unless the branches don't use um, any opacity mask or any translucency nothing the material should be opaque that's pretty important there are some important points that I have to say when it comes to do this for mobile uh, you'll need to make sure that 
you when you're done creating it you click on this one clear pcg link it will make sure that the this one doesn't work and this is just a a uh, hierarchical instant static mesh so it's pretty performant and this is it i i think i've covered everything in this subject if you want to change the um spline if you want to add something you can just drag them around or hold alt on your keyboard and add points to it other than that there's absolutely nothing else to add and um, just play around with all the numbers in the um, PCG graph, play around with the noise, play around with the uh, filter. This is the number for the filter. Um, make sure that you have set a call distance. This is pretty important. Make sure the grass isn't casting any shadows uh, and make sure if you're spawning trees you'll use a bounce modifier bounce modifier this one just shows how big the trees could be it's not necessary but it can make everything look a little bit better so if you work if you're trying to spawn trees you can just make sure that they are a little bit bigger so they don't collide with each other and if they do, you have the option to use this one self cloning node as well. So don't worry about it. I wish it helped you. And if it did, please hit that like button and have a great day. Bye.